clues around the world are all similar to one another. However, Koreans wore traditional clothing called hanbok in the past. Hanbok is the traditional Korean costume that boasts unique lines and beautiful colors. And living up to its aesthetic value, hanbok is made from natural fiber that has earned it fame as clothing even to this day. Traditional Korean fiber is made with natural materials and colored with natural dyes. And in our world that places a high value on health, why is traditional Korean fiber repeatedly sought out by people even today? Hanbok has lived through the history of Korea. Records show that when Koreans first established a country in the Korean Peninsula, they were already using fabrics made from arrowroot and hemp plant. Since then, as the technology of making fiber and dyeing developed over time, the unique culture of Korean clothing has prospered. Koreans made clothes only from natural materials until Western clothing came into Korea at the end of the 19th century. Their favorite materials included silk, cotton, hemp, and rami, which are nowadays distinguished as natural fibers. Clothes made from such materials were plain but elegant and one could feel nature breathing in Hanbo, which kept the natural texture of the fiber alive. These fibers were as strong as today's synthetic fibers and were all the more comfortable the longer one continued to wear clothes made from them. Hemp, the most popular traditional Korean fiber, is made from hemp plant with a long history of cultivation in Korea. Although the cultivation of hemp plant is restricted because of its use as marijuana, it has been increasing around the world with the news that hemp is helpful to our health. Hemp has a unique fiber structure in which its hollow inside, much like a pipe with thin fibers, is tangled like a spider's web. That's precisely why hemp is an all-season fabric that can keep our body cool during the summer and warm during the winter. Hemp is made by traditional hand weaving. It takes a lot of time and effort, but the quality is incomparable to machine-made hemp. Hemp is made from the endoderm fiber of the hemp plant. Koreans have been making clothes and bedding with hemp since long ago. Hemp yarn is thick and woven sparsely, and because of this unique structural trait, it's almost as if hemp is capable of breathing by itself. Hemp allows moisture and air in and out, so it can control the amount of moisture and heat. It has an excellent air permeability. Hemp is about 20 times as moisture absorbent as cotton, the most common fabric in the world. It also discharges moisture efficiently and absorbs sounds. Hemp is strong and durable. It is so strong and resistant to damage that it's difficult to believe that it came from a plant stem. Hemp works the best in the summer. It is great for absorbing and discharging sweat, 
so it cools the body heat down and keeps the body clean. Because of such traits, hemp was often used as handkerchiefs in the summer and as tablecloths to keep dust away. Effects of Hemp 1. Antibacterial Effect It is very easy to damage natural fiber when it's not properly taken care of. Let's take a look at the case of hemp. Cotton and hemp were tested for antibacterial effect. First, the so-called superbacteria, Staphylococcus aureus and Pneumonococcus were cultured. Cotton pieces and hemp pieces were put into each cultured solution separately. Both bacteria were found alive in cotton. Surprisingly, however, neither was found in hemp. This result proved that hemp is antibacterial. 마가 30% 포함되어 있는 직물에 대해서 항균력 시험을 시행을 하였습니다. 그 경우 대조균인 100% 면에 비해서 황색 포상 구균과 회렴균에 대해 높은 항균력을 나타내었습니다. Song Sung Won is a 13-year-old who has been suffering from chronic atopy since she was a baby. Her condition was quite serious, so her entire body was a topic, but now her skin is showing improvement. Atopy is caused by inefficient control of moisture and air by the skin. It is extremely difficult to cure unless the patient moves to a different environment. Let's see how she's doing now. Hemp is useful even at hospitals, and this one is not an exception. Hemp is used here for bandages. From ancient times, hemp has been used for dishcloths and herbal medicine strainers, which always had to be sanitary. Because of the special structure of hemp, fungal bacteria cannot actively inhabit the material. So hemp is receiving high grades at this hospital as well. 전에는 막 거칠거칠하고 만지기도 싫고 그랬는데요. 다음날 되면은 좀 보들보들하고요. 상처도 많이 없어져요. 어 아토피에는 환경적인 요인에서 오는 질환이기 때문에 우리가 입는 옷들도 역시 천연 섬유로 된 삼배 옷이 상당히 효과적이라 볼수 있는데요. 그 삼배가 일반 섬유보다도 통기성이 좋습니다. 공기가 잘 통하고 피부에 호흡을 할수 있는 그런 환경을 만들어 주는 그런 옷이기도 합니다. 그리고 삼배가 동의보감에 보면 이제 대마라는 성분인데요. 이 성분 자체가 어그 몸의 혈액 순환도 시켜주면서 피를 맑게 해주고 그리고 피부에 항균력 그러니까 결국 균을 없애주는 그런 좋은 작용을 합니다. 그리고 결국은 그 몸에, 몸이 건조해진다든가 피부에 호흡을 하지 못해서 오는 그런 아토피 질환에 유효하다고 볼수 있죠. Effects of hemp. Two, anti-UV effect. It is known worldwide that UV rays are harmful to the skin. It has been proven that UV rays advance skin aging and induce dermatological diseases such as skin cancer. Most diligently try to protect their skin from UV rays nowadays. Regrettably though, not many people know that hemp can do just that. Some may assume that hemp will let UV rays through because of its sparsely woven structure, but hemp surprisingly has an anti-UV effect. Proper UV protection requires that both UV rays, A and B, are blocked, and hemp indeed does block both. Effects of Hemp 3. Emission of Infrared Rays 
Another experiment was held to discover further properties of hemp. If wearing an article of clothing itself makes you healthy, wouldn't its material be the ultimate healthy fiber? It was discovered that hemp even emits infrared rays. Infrared rays are a type of electromagnetic wave that provides heat. When they enter the body, they dilate capillary vessels and smooth blood circulation. This was clearly proven through a body heat test. Charcoal, ceramics, and yellow mud also emit infrared rays, but not as much as hemp. 네, 원적외선이 우리 인체에 조사되게 되면은 그 공명 현상에 의해서 그 모세 혈관이 확장됩니다. 따라서 그 혈액 순환이 원활하게 되고요. 그로 인해서 그 신진대사를 촉진해 주는 작용을 하게 됩니다. Koreans utilize hemp to the fullest in shrouds. Hemp is used not only in shrouds for the deceased, but in mourning clothes for the family as well. And there are several reasons why hemp is used in shrouds. Hemp decomposes well in soil, so it minimizes the natural damage to the deceased body. Also, with its ability to control moisture and its antibacterial effect, hemp protects the body from fungal bacteria. The 조상들이 얼마나 슬기롭게 그 옷을 입었는가를 알수 있는 부분에서 삼배는 굉장히 중요한 특성을 갖고 있습니다. 그래서 그첫 번째는 어, 향독성이나 향근성을 갖고 있어서 그 유골이 부패됐을 때도 벌레나 그런 그 곰팡이 이런 것들을 제거할 수 있는 기능을 갖고 있고요. 그다음 또 하나는 잘탈수 있다는 부분들. 그래서 수신을 그 고인을 모실 때 깨끗하게 모실 수 있다는 그런 부분들이 있습니다. Another fiber that is as popular as hemp is rami. Rami is made from the sheath of rami plant stems. Rami plants grow well in areas with a humid and warm climate. They are mainly cultivated in Japan, China, the Philippines, and India. When Rami plants are fully grown and the bottom parts of their stems turn brown, it's time to harvest and spin yarn. The world-renowned Hansan Rami is made by a traditional process method even to this day. The first procedure is harvesting rami plants and cutting off the leaves. When soaked in water, it becomes easy to peel the sheath off rami plant stems. Then the fibers are peeled off the sheath with a special rami knife. The rami fibers are then washed with clean water and dried in the sun for two to three days. Spinning rami yarn is quite a complicated procedure. One must use teeth and fingers to keep the yard thin. It is a challenging task as it takes several steps to finally produce the yarn. The thinner the yarn is, the more valuable it is. Rami is very sensitive to moisture, so it must be woven in a small room with no ventilation. The weaver stays in the room to weave rami in repeated steps all day long. With the entire process being a hands-on process, traditional Korean rami fabric indeed is an elaborate product made with true dedication. Rami has already been attracting attention from around the world as the environment-friendly fabric of the 21st century. Rami fabric is transparent and clean, and its thin yarn makes it look even cleaner. Rami fabric is a symbol of traditional Korean aesthetics. Hanbok, made from bleached rami, looks pure, neat, and proper. Rami has long been the most common summer fabric for its excellent air permeability and sweat absorption. There are various kinds of synthetic fabrics boasting high quality these days, but they're incomparable to handmade rami in terms of health benefits. Even the way rami fabric moves in the summer wind is aesthetic. So it not only promotes and protects health, but it does so in an aesthetically pleasing way. Korea has a long history of producing quality rami. Today, aesthetic Korean rami is at the center of the world's attention. 
Remy was reborn in the hands of a successor that practices traditional Korean Remy making. The exhibited Remy scarves captivated the visitors with their delicate texture and beautiful colors. Their quality indeed was highly superior to synthetic fabrics. Well, Mushi is first of all light and then the tensile strength, especially tensile strength that I was just talking about, the fiber that I made uh, is the, one of the finest in the world. But, uh, at the same time, the tensile strength of Mushi fiber is three to four times stronger than the cotton. So it's really amazing um, uh, durability. At the same time, uh, very much of a human friendly fabric. So absorbance is there, ventilation is there, and then uh, antibacteria. So all of those, uh, the fabric can offer to our human being for help is really great. Here, Rami fabric in rainbow colors is waving in the wind. Aesthetically mild and subtly colorful, Rami fabric takes its function and beauty from nature. From the spinning of the yarn to dyeing, the traditional Korean fabric uses everything natural. In Korea, natural dye has been developed since the olden days. Now, I'm going to learn how to make a natural dye. Yeah, 안녕하세요. 이게 쪽풀입니다. 이 풀은 천연 염색하는 쪽물 염색 원료가 되는 쪽풀입니다. 예. Natural animal, plant or mineral materials are used for natural dyeing. These do not cause irritation to the skin for they do not contain any chemicals. Koreans have utilized different natural dyeing materials according to the season. Among these materials, tinctoria is used in autumn to achieve an indigo colored dye. As tinctoria soaks in a full potful of water, its unique hue of indigo is released. What is the process? This process is the process of the dye. 항아리에 집어넣고 네. 물을 채워서 한 2박 3일이나 3박 4일 동안 우려내는 거예요. 아. 그 우려낸 쪽풀 물에다가 네. 조개 껍데기 가루를 집어넣고 쪽 색소를 농축시키는 과정이에요. 아, 근데 이렇게 거품이 많이 생겨요? 예. 이 거품이 계속 일고 네. 이 거품이 꽃거품이 돼요. 아. 꽃거품이 인 다음에 이걸 한 1시간 정도 놔두게 되면 네. 색소만 가라앉거든요. 그러면 그걸 가지고 좀 이따 우리가 모시 염색을 할 겁니다. And as time passes by, the color turns into a mystic blue. Now it's time to dye the fabric. It is important to slowly soak the hem or rami so the dye will evenly soak into the fabric. Mordant is used to help the dye soak in and adhere to the fabric and to achieve the right color. After the dyeing process, the fabric is dried in the sun and wind. Natural dyeing maximizes the effects of the natural fiber. Using healthy animal, plant, or mineral materials doubles the effects of fabrics such as their antibacterial effect. So, usually, the natural dyeing is used to have a certain kind of functionality. But, the natural dyeing is used to have a certain kind of functionality. But, the natural dyeing is used to have a certain kind of functionality. But, the natural dyeing is used to have a certain kind of functionality. When dyed with modern charcoal, moisture control and air permeability are enhanced, and infrared rays are emitted, which are effective for skin health. Other types of natural dyeing also help maintain and maximize the effects of natural fibers.
traditional Korean fiber is made from the natural fiber of plants. The wisdom of Koreans' ancestors is shining all the more in the health-conscious world of today. As their effects have been proven, use of traditional Korean fibers has perpetuated through history to this day. Used in modernized and yet traditional Korean costumes and other various articles, traditional Korean fibers are still very much popular. Food, clothing, and shelter are the basic pillars of human existence. Among these, clothing has developed with the purpose of protecting the human body from the environment. But unfortunately, man-made synthetic fibers are becoming a very cause of skin trouble nowadays. For this reason, many people are turning again to natural fibers and natural dyeing. With several thousand years of history behind them, there is no doubt that traditional Korean fibers are a true gift from nature to help protect our health. Kuksun Do is a traditional Korean meditation for body and mind that originated in the Kojusun period, which lasted until 108 BC. With abdominal breathing as its base, Kuksun Do scientifically stimulates all muscles and internal organs to strengthen the body. Many of you may be losing energy from various types of stress nowadays, so let's now strengthen our body, spirit, and mind with Kuksun Do. Abdominal Breathing. Breathing is directly linked with life itself, so you need to breathe right to be healthy. Abdominal breathing is one of the effective ways of deep breathing. Inhale deeply and stop at your abdomen. Make sure your abdomen is moving, not your shoulders. This move of putting hands together is the basic move of the abdominal breathing that calms your mind and breathing. In the second move, Strengthen your body up and bend over to lower your upper body only with your hands, almost touching the floor. Face straight ahead and inhale down to your belly button, then hold. This move relaxes your internal organs that have been under pressure in the upright position all day long. It helps relocate your internal organs to their respective places of the body and maximizes their functions. Space your feet as wide as your shoulders and balance yourself as you swing left to right. Move your body slowly as you inhale down to your belly button and exhale completely. Steady abdominal breathing will help you relax your body and mind and relieve stress. Pre-stretching. The pre-stretching of Kuksun Do energizes your body and strengthens your internal organs to keep your body healthy. The first move when pre-stretching relaxes your body and mind. Stand straight up and stretch your arms high above, then all the way to the back of your waist. Lower your upper body and hands as you bring them down. Put your right foot on your left knee and start pounding the sunken part of the sole. This part is where vessels are concentrated, so if you pound it nine times a day, it will strengthen your kidneys and bladder and be effective for high blood pressure and headaches. Hold your breath while you're pounding and exhale when you're finished. Bend your knees and hold them in your arms and gently roll on your back. Make sure you're touching the floor from hips to shoulders and stimulate your backbone to correct it. This move also stimulates the nerves concentrated on your backbone and is effective for nervous breakdowns and gastric diseases.
Today, we learn the healthy abdominal breathing and the basic moves that benefit your internal organs for our first day of Kuksungdo. Do not forget to practice at least one Kuksungdo move a day to keep yourself healthy.